Good day, everybody, and welcome to day. Hey everybody and welcome to another day of Vlogmas. Uh, as you know by the title, this is one of another cooking video and today I'm making Brussels sprout and butternut squash muffins. Uh, I know it's very different but like I said I'm trying lots of different new recipes this year. Uh, if you haven't seen my last three videos so far, um, I leave up here, I'm going to leave a video list to my cooking playlist. Uh, it's got like 40 videos in it, I think. Maybe not, I don't know, but I've done a lot of cooking over the years, so if you want to go and check them out, they're up there. And I've done, for the last four years, I've done loads of uh, Christmas cooking videos, like uh, no-bake chocolate, marsh chocolate marshmallow uh, Christmas puddings, and cookies, and cakes, and stuff like that. So uh, I leave all that up here, and I leave the playlist down below. Um, so, we're just going to get on with the video today. I know this sounds disgusting, but we're going to make them and we're going to try them. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, you know we don't do things uh, properly on this channel over the few years. So, got the famous cooking bowl. I bought a cake mix from Tesco's. So, we're going to add the cake mix. Uh, it's just flour and sugar and then one egg and 60 milliliters of milk. I'm gonna mix it all together, then I'm gonna add in the sprouts. And what I've done is I've, I've cooked the sprouts already, that I've like partly cooked them, and I've like chopped them up into little bits. So I'm hoping, it's just, I'm just gonna chuck it all in, and we're just gonna go from there. There's the mix bit. See if I've lost my nap. <laughs> no shell, baby. Look at that. I've not lost my touch. Oh, I'm just gonna put a little bit in. Let's get all together. Okay, now we've got the right consistency for the mix. Uh, I'm gonna chuck in the sprouts. I'm gonna chuck in. Okay, we're gonna put all the sprouts in. All the sprouts have gone in. Mm. Okay, so here we have our mixture. Um, the oven is preheating uh, 180 degrees. Uh, they cook for about 12 to 15 minutes. So I'm gonna divide this mixture, this uh, this recipe, the mixture does six. Um, I wish I would've bought another one or I had some flour to add to it, but I don't. So we're just gonna do six and then we'll see how they come out. Everybody, here is the muffins. I'm using my phone because it's a better angle than the, uh, the filming apparatus there. So there's the muffins. They're gonna go in the oven. See you soon. I've added some festive antlers because I just found them. Uh, so uh, the muffins have been in uh, now for 15 minutes. So we're going to take them out of the oven and then I'm going to let them cool down and then uh, we're going to frost the cakes with real cake frosting and then we're going to decorate it with uh, butternut squash and hundreds of thousands. So we'll see the finished product. Uh, after I've shown you these, so let's have a look how they come out. I love it when a plan comes together sometimes, I really do. And do you know what? They don't even smell bad either. Check out them bad boys, look! Muffins! So yeah, we're going to let them cool down and then we're going to frost them and then we'll give it a bit of a taste test. Okay everybody, uh, the cupcakes are chilled and I've got my frosting, my real frosting. I was going to use, I was going to be really unethical and use a Sweden potato mash frosting but uh, it went out of date so I didn't use it. But we're going to do normal cake frosting and then we're going to put on the decorations on top. So I'm going to whack the frosting on now just because you can. Oh, don't you start beeping on me now, you piece of... <laughs> I 
Okay, the frosting's on the cake, and then I've uh, cut up these little oh, festive uh, butternut, squash, butternut squash pieces, which are going to go on top of the cakes. Here we have the finished pieces. Look! Do it this way. Take one out. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do a little taste test of the muffins to see how they taste. I am hope, thinking they're not going to be good, but who knows? Do you know what? They're actually really good. It's kind of like you got the sweet from the the icing, and then like you get like the taste of the Brussels sprouts afterwards. Ooh! Hey, thank you for watching today's video. Uh, if you have any crazy ideas or recipes that you think I should try out, because I'll do it, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, welcome, welcome. Thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you all tomorrow.